Hello and welcome to this uh, video. Uh, today we're going to be taking a uh, unboxing and a hopefully quick uh, review of a set of battle dress and field service cap from What Price Glory Central Europe. And um, yeah, let's uh, get into it. Now, uh, before I start the unboxing, I do want to say that the uh, guys at uh, what price glory? What price glory? Central Europe has been uh, very helpful in uh, uh, customer service and in helping me. Uh, uh, one of the things was uh, when I did ordered uh, this uh, um, package, uh, these items was that they didn't have the field service cap in uh, my size, so I decided to order one down. But then I said no. We actually found some extra. Uh, materials uh, in the back uh, of the warehouse to so we can make one in your size uh, for you and uh, that's superb uh, customer service so uh, that uh, if uh, the guys from what price glory what price glory central europe is watching this i do want to again say a very uh, kind thank you to uh, the guys uh, working there and uh, with that being said let's get into it Okay, so here we are. Uh, I did uh, just opened it uh, a little bit uh, beforehand, so uh, that you guys uh, didn't uh, get to see my address and all of that stuff. And let's just get right into it. So, let's see here. Have the order papers. Then we first have the field service cap. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know if you can get a closer look at the fabric, but that does look pretty good. I don't have an original to compare it to right now, but so far it looks pretty good, I think. And here we have the trousers. <laughs> superb, absolutely superb. Let's see, take a look at the label, size number 18. I did order this uh, uh, a little bit uh, bigger. A size 17 will fit me, but uh, I, in my experience, a size 18 uh, gives me a much better uh, movement and uh, just feels better. Uh, it's battle dress, so it's not supposed to look uh, good at all. WPG, Central Europe, 1942. Um, this is uh, pretty much uh, exactly the same as the earlier uh, Panther Store uh, battle dress. And unfortunately, after the uh, previous uh, owner died, uh, they stopped making uh, battle dress. So uh, WPG uh, Central Europe uh, took over production. And as far as I can tell, it seems to be exactly the same uh, quality and same fabric, same everything which is superb put that aside and here we have finally the blouse battle dress blouse um, now this is the uh, 1940 uh, pattern which means uh, it has the um, uh, hidden buttons on the pockets and on the front uh, fly and also the uh, line collar the earlier uh, as it's sometimes called the 1937, or as it's probably called the uh, Battle Dress uh, Surge, uh, didn't have this line color and uh, had some uh, minor changes to the cut and uh, placement of the pockets, if I remember correctly. Correctly, uh, But that's just a minor uh, difference, and the easiest to tell this apart is the lining of the uh, collar and also if you Lift this up, also the buckle is uh, different. Uh, I don't have an original uh, 1940 pattern to compare to, but I do have a austerity pattern which we will uh, compare to, at least the... Um, we will uh, compare the fabric and so on uh, later in this video. Just open this up. 
we have two inside pockets for all of your my stuff and Yeah, so far I'm really impressed with the uh, overall looks uh, of this. Uh, I, I would absolutely recommend this to anyone who is uh, getting into the uh, reenactment of uh, World War II British or one of the various uh, armies in exile uh, during uh, World War II uh, to start with uh, one of these, uh, preferably the earlier <clears throat> earlier pattern that didn't have the line color so you have a bit of a uh, broader uh, period of time to uh, work with but uh, uh, absolutely worth the money now it is uh, quite uh, pricey but that's uh, uh, well worth uh, the money uh, in my opinion uh, I just realized I didn't show you the field service cap uh, very well so let's uh, just do that very quick uh, just um, it has general service buttons, brass, shiny brass, you can uh, take out of course, but I won't not, I'm not going to do that uh, right now. They are fastened with these uh, hooks uh, on uh, the side, this uh, flap, and it has, if we show the inside, it doesn't have a uh, like a sweatband on the inside, but uh, this is not a tight, supposed to be a tight fitting cap at all. And if we look at the markings, we will see uh, R marked R Morovec. Is that how it's pronounced? Morovec uh, at what price glory? What price glory? Central Europe. The crow's foot marking. 1940 and the size seven uh, seven and a half which is uh, my size okay so just a quick comparison with an original uh, battle dress uh, uh, as I said it's not uh, the same pattern but uh, this will give a little bit of an idea of the authentic authenticity of the uh, of the fabric and uh, so on and these are both in size 18 so we can lift these sleeves up a bit um, so this to the right is an original and this is the reproduction just get that up sorry Oop. A, little, a little bit so as you can see it's Pretty spot on. Now the original one does have the disadvantage of having uh, about uh, 75 years of of uh, wear and tear to it, and has probably been uh, shaved uh, at some point. But if we zoom in, the uh, it may be a, bit, a little bit hard to see on camera, but the weave is exactly the same and. Uh, the color is also pretty spot on, even though, it, as I said, uh, the original one does have a fair bit of uh, usage uh, uh, behind it. And if we just as a hang on, let's get rid of this quickly. Just a quick comparison of the fabric on the color this is original this is reproduction as you can see it's a pretty faithful uh, recreation we have here uh, maybe not exactly the same but as uh, as I said this is this has been used so you would expect it to be uh, slightly different from the uh, reproduction one um, and if we finally have a look at the Buckles, uh, pretty much spot on. This is a bit more shiny, which uh, 
Uh, I don't know the authenticity of uh, that. Uh, the Panther Store uh, one that I got uh, has a um, not shiny buckle. It's uh, blackened like uh, this, so I don't know uh, if the shiny buckle is entirely uh, authentic, but there it is. It's, but it's functionally and uh, a perfect uh, copy of the original one. And here we are. Uh, I do have to say, just putting it on feels pretty great actually. Even though it's made of wool and it's a bit itchy, it feels well, feels proper, it feels nice. And also the field service cap, field service cap feels nice as well. Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely amazed by the quality and uh, everything. Uh, this is perfect. Uh, you won't find any better reproductions of British wartime battle dress than this. Now, uh, I'm going to give you a quick uh, 360 degree look at it just to give you this impression. And have a look at the trousers as well. So, uh, final word on this. Uh, as I already said, I would absolutely recommend this to uh, reenactors and collectors even if uh, you can't find any if you don't want to uh, modify any original uh, uh, sets then this is the way to go and uh, I will be doing uh, more videos on this uh, coming forward uh, I will be doing some uh, impressions that I hope uh, some of you guys uh, will enjoy and uh, with that being said, uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, anything, uh, leave them uh, down below and see you guys later. Goodbye.